Hashtag Alpal Aspie, my art and my Asperger's, when post-traumatic stress disorder and Asperger's syndrome collide. Rejection is a common feature of my life. I seldom get support when I need it, only when I am really ill. Something hangs over me like a threatening cloud. The earth and sky collides with force and fury. Hello, Robert John Burton, getting to the bones of the subject that nearly killed me. I have survived several testing and horrible times, times that some people never survive. I had a strange twisted advantage, what am I laughing at? I had survived being stabbed resulting in a full fluorocotomy surgery at 24. Never mind, I had by this age survived beatings, bashings and sexual molestation. The best of the worst was yet to come. My father dead, my mother diagnosed with schizophrenia with paranoid delusions, I was beginning to fight my or number two, something was calling for me. Having Asperger's syndrome was my advantage, both messing up my life, but saving me from immediate actions of rage or regret. Feelings and intellect don't meld quickly in this Vulcan mind. I feel like being accused of being a Cold War spy. Is there any point in hysterics? Anything I say will be misunderstood or ignored. Let's be clear about one thing. There is no fairness or justice in this world. It isn't designed like that. But help is available if you know what to ask for. My reactions as a person with Asperger's may offend many, but frankly your opinion in the face of your prejudices mean nothing to me considering the vicarious injury done to so many when common sense could prevail. Kindness to an animal slaughter is better than what I have received. People with Asperger's can have increased severity of symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder due to physical brain differences. These manifest in me as flashbacks, dash hallucinations, dash avoidance of people, dash increased arousal, dash a bloody minded irritability, dash mood swings, dash problems concentrating, dash insomnia, and the most amazing exaggerated startled response. Why I haven't had a stroke is a mystery to anyone seeing this response of mine. Man, the party is in full swing. My life can get stuck in the freeze mode. I have never moved forward in the things people consider important. Family and friend connections. I feel a lot of anxiety. Motivation is an issue. Hypervigilance takes me away from normal activities. I do not understand the need for others to enjoy sport, travel for pleasure or engage in family type activities. Therefore I have been described as aloof and unfriendly. I need to be there in a place for a reason. My boundaries of personal space bubble have often been trespassed. I have endured bullying because I do not understand how to respond to others. Unscrupulous people test my sense of trust. I often endure people who are not good for me and have wasted years helping people who did not appreciate it. Giving hope to hopelessness is needed when I am stuck in blaming myself or I am angry about feeling blame. Is forgiveness a part of this? Religious forgiveness is nonsense to me. How many dead and hurt with your rubbish? Ask a molested child, victim of some clerical deviant. Instead, look beyond results, awards and successes because they are gone tomorrow. Life demands actions. Do what you need to do to make a day, a night, a week, a month. Just keep moving the best way you can. Maintaining long overdue treatment is my priority as I cannot see a reasonable future without regard to my autism and years of accumulated stress. I suffer intense rages from compulsive intrusive thoughts which disturbs my thinking and ability to work full time. As well, I struggle with change. I do it, but not without a lot of stress. I practice mindfulness, but there are barriers to deal with all the time. Revictimization happens because without healthy self-identity, my sense of worth depended on the perpetrator's perceptions. Acceptance is hard in the face of horrible trauma. Eventually, I learned to accept my angry feelings without needing them to be fixed. I had been abused. I do not need to get rid of my feelings, as I am not defined by them. 
My values and goals were confused by too many thoughts. Too much in my head led me away from my basic needs. Others' unwanted intrusions took away my appreciation of life. Eventually, I began to see the shallowness of others. I began to be satisfied with very little. I stopped looking at life in one dimension. A trait of Asperger's is to be a visual thinker. I used that to stretch my tired mind and body. I started to plan some simple goals. A new place to live away from noisy, insensitive neighbours. Peaceful surroundings are very important for us who suffer stress. Make the effort to find quiet. Putting my talents to work, but letting my thoughts come and go without focusing too much on each one. Seek simple solutions, then rest. Stop trying to please others. You will seldom succeed unless they are sensible. It has been my experience shallow, insincere people give up on you unless you have some value for them. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember that the wise thing to do if one needs help is to go out and ask for it. The help you need will come. Asperger's and post-traumatic stress disorder complicate each other. However, along with depression, they make the world seem like a black and white place. Everything has to have a solution, a place for everything. Doesn't make much sense. More is not always better. Step back and rest. Let your thoughts come and go without focusing too much on each one. Eventually, I had to accept responsibility for the feelings that stay. They were the serious ones. This is the best advice I have to offer. Step back until what is important cannot be ignored. There is your path. I am a doer of many things. I have many different parts. I let struggle and trauma be what it is. Me and the cosmos. Nothing is perfect. It just is. It is daily work if you get my drift. Thank you, like, subscribe and share please.